The FIFA 2010 Soccer World Cup is projected to attract about 1.5 million tourists to South Africa. And as the country gets ready to play host to the influx of local and international visitors, Cape Town and the Western Cape plans to capitalize on this by marketing the region as a premier lifestyle and wine destination. The 2010 Soccer World Cup offers a unique opportunity for the growth of wine tourism in the region. It also offers stakeholders, estate owners and wine farmers an opportunity to promote their product to a global audience. 2010 is one of the most fantastic opportunities, um, one of the most fantastic opportunities that this country has ever seen. For that matter, this continent has ever experienced. And uh, we know that it's creating us a platform that we would have never had. So we are taking every single uh, opportunity to make sure that we expose as many people that will be coming here to many of our offerings. And wine and wine tourism forms a fundamental pillar of uh, what is on offer. We have one of the most exquisite wines in the country. And we're going to embed wine tourism into everything that we will be selling in terms of our experiences. The plans surrounding wine tourism during the Games were discussed at the recent South African Wine Tourism Conference. The aim of the conference was to create a cohesive plan as to how the region would position itself for the influx of tourists. The conference covered a wide range of topics including the importance of building user-friendly websites to the need to create packaged wine tours that were tailored specifically to the needs of the international traveller. We have 13 wine routes and over 500 wineries in, the, in Cape Town and the Western Cape. And what we have done is to put together itineraries that highlight uh, some of the iconic wine events in the country, some of the most iconic estates in the, in the, in the province or in the region. And uh, we're going to be guiding people and helping them go through so many experiences that are amazing, that are, are wine related. And it's not only about the wine, it goes far more beyond the wine. It's about the ultimate experience that you get in terms of wine and food pairing, wine and chocolate pairing, uh, wine tasting on a, uh, on a horseback, cheese and wine, and all those wonderful experiences that people can come and enjoy. The conference also profiled lessons learned during the 2006 FIFA World Cup in Germany, where the German wine industry capitalized on the burst of soccer tourists by promoting their wine as well as their wine region. The results were that guests coming from abroad to Germany, and these had, have been 1.5 or 2 million that came on behalf of the World Championship to Germany, they came in close contact with German wine. By strategically positioning German wines into specific soccer venues, German wines were consumed and well received by the global audience. During all events around the World Championship, our official events with catering, with German wine was served in the VIP lounges, at parties or press conferences and, 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 and so German wine was in the focus next to the football. With a little over 300 days to go before the kickoff to 2010, this conference comes at an opportune time as winemakers and wine estates aim to synergize their attempts at capturing this thirsty market. But with the industry's sights firmly set on delivering on its 2010 goals of promoting the region as a premier wine and leisure destination, this conference was a step in the right direction.